hello everyone uh, another video from Bali after a long long time so thank you for everyone that sent me a message private message and asked me what happened I'm fine I'm good thank you for following up I just uh, needed a little bit of time for myself to relax and chill so this is a video after a long time still I'm in the Bali so I'm moving to Bangkok soon roughly next two weeks I would say and hopefully you guys going to see more video in Thailand so I'm just trying to fix my lens yeah guys I'm staying in this cute uh, guest house let me show you guys my room it is extremely kind people I really like it so this is my room I have a nice washroom so obviously this is a new guest house uh, Uh, most of the guest houses here is just new because uh, building is everywhere it's just uh, everybody building this kind of gas house because there's a lot of people moving here so this is a four room gas house it's just teeny tiny I have a nice swimming pool here as you can see uh, this is the swimming pool and only four rooms here so it's just small room number one two three four and obviously all this gas house comes with the kitchen so in case if you want to cook for yourself there is a fridge there and it is really nice and I really love this gas house because it's just limited of uh, gas here only four and usually one of them is always empty so at the moment only three rooms and usually in this kind of gas house that is limited it's just very quiet because I've been to some of them that is bigger so usually it's like two floors or three floors it's the same concept but some of the gas here it just gets crazy they drink a lot and party a lot and they come in like four o'clock or five o'clock in the morning and they're cooking for themselves making a lot of noises so the reason that i'm staying in this gas house for a long time roughly more than like 20 days i guess eh, more than 20 days like 25 days and the reason is because it's very quiet and i really like it and it's very clean new and i love the owners owners are very kind really kind so this is the typical gas house here so anyway I have to leave this gas house after three days because I was planning to extend until the day that I'm gonna stay in Bali but unfortunately it's booked so I gotta go somewhere else so I don't know really I'm not I'm not sure where I'm gonna go but hopefully I can find somewhere I'm uh, I'm in Shengu right now Shengu is a very popular area because there's a lot of young people here and nightlife everywhere is a bar club you know because some of them some part of a, a Bali like Ubud or Senur these places is not for the party places it's just very quiet like usually after seven eight o'clock you won't see a lot of people on the street but Shengu is just most famous place now for a lot of young people that move in here permanently or you know long vacation or staying here for a few months so the, and the reason is because of the, all these beach clubs and all the nightlife and everything else. To be honest with you, I haven't been to any nightlife uh, since I came to Bali, roughly like 40 days ago. Uh, but I'm gonna try, but I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Like usually I go to bed like 9, 30, 10 o'clock and I get up in the morning. So I'm gonna take you guys for a walk. So this is my swimming pool. And I really like it. It's teeny tiny, but as I said, it's just very clean gas house and it's just limited uh, kind of people here and that's really I like it uh, so guys I'm just gonna wear my shoes and then we're gonna go for a walk okay guys my shoes is on let me just double check my door is make sure it's locked yes it's locked and I really really like this gas house guys it's just really lovely and the owners are one of the kindest one uh, because I've been to a few gas house like that and some of them they're not really friendly especially the last one that I was in Ubud 
the guy had a breakfast included on my uh, room fees but the breakfast was disgusting and one day I asked for a coffee and the orange juice so uh, I don't know some sort of juice and he come up to me he said well you gotta pay extra I said why he said well you can only pick one and that's really ridiculous like anywhere you know any hotel any guest house anywhere that you go and the breakfast is if his breakfast is included so obviously everybody is starting their day with coffee or tea plus the juice you know some sort of you know watermelon juice or something but this guy was coming up to me and say oh you gotta pay extra and it was last day so and it is some sort of really long holidays here and guess what guys my gas house owner lives here so they are very very decent people so they're living next to because every morning she comes in yeah you see guys there is some sort of event going on so there's a long holiday here <laughs> Holidays here, religion holidays is just like sometimes 10 days, and I believe here now it's between 6 to 16. Yeah, it is for like 10 days now. This guy's coming from the beach. coconut because I know one place that usually I go every morning to have a fresh coconut and the guy is very nice guy so let's go start a day from there one thing that you gotta know in here in Shangu is absolutely no way to walk so it is not easy to walk in Shangu or anywhere pretty much in in Bali Let me see what is the time. So it is like 11 o'clock. But it's gonna get even more crowded later on. One thing that I gotta tell you guys about Bali. If you come to Shengu, only Shengu, not everywhere. You're going to see a bunch of beautiful girls. This is all foreigners. Europeans, Russians. These girls are so good looking. And most of them working online, I believe. Or they have a sugar daddy or whatever. So basically living here, maybe some of them, they have a good job. But I guess these guys are spending a lot of time in the gym. Because if you look at their body, oh just, oh my god, I never saw this much hot girls anywhere. So that's why there's a huge hype about Bali, you know, like Bali, 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 Bali. But to be honest with you, it's just a lot of things about Bali, is just the hype. Because there's a huge construction everywhere. Everywhere is a gas house, small hotels, restaurants, cafe. And I believe it's overbuilt and that's not good because now I believe everybody enjoying in Bali because you know after COVID a lot of people moving in moving here either local people or foreigners but I guess that's a vibe so that's not really good for economy next I believe 12 months here because there is 
so much cafe and restaurants and the gas house here that sometimes at night when I go for a walk and I see most of these hotels or sorry most of these restaurants and cafes are empty empty there is more than 40 beach clubs here four zero beach clubs and sometimes you pass by these beach clubs is empty so much clubs nightclubs bars so I believe it's just overbought because of the wipe because this wipe I don't know mainly from Russia because they moved here or a lot of Europeans so to be honest with you I have no idea I was the only things that I know is just everywhere is constructions and another thing is Bali is not cheap guys Bali it is not cheap here so one thing if you're traveling in Bali you need to know cost of food and everything else compared to anywhere else in Southeast Asia I believe here is much much more pricey because Vietnam is the cheapest one I believe number two is a Thailand but here guys it's not cheap just one thing that you need to know because there is as I said there's a lot of nice places here and I believe there is a huge wife so I don't know these people that really doing business here or these girls or these guys that all good looking buff you know they have a nice nice motorbike and you know they have a nice life so I don't know if they're making really decent money or a bunch of rich kids or they just living with the credit card you don't know but the only thing that I know you won't see this kind of young good-looking people anywhere in Southeast Asia so that's why I believe there's a lot of wipe here and it's just overbuilt I believe Bali is overbuilt because um, sometimes I talk to the local people and local people says yeah Bali economy is very good I totally understand that because it's just a lot of constructions and a lot of money coming here but I don't know what kind of money is that and number two when you overbuilt something it's just not good for economy because I'm sure that a lot of people you know they try to make a living and open up the coffee shop or restaurant but this amount of coffee shop and restaurant is just too much here too much because local people cannot afford to go have it you know 200 IDR or 150 IDR uh, pizza you know this is this is only for foreigners and when you go into this type of restaurant you won't see local people it's just limited really limited maybe some of the local people that are coming from Jakarta or Java for vacation and you see them maybe they have money but for local people they don't go to this kind of restaurants or maybe they don't live even in Shangu for example here there is an area called Denpasar that most of the local people live in there because it's much much cheaper and the other day I was uh, talking to one of the girls here and I was talking about you know how much I'm paying for my gas house and she was in real estate business and she said there is a local price for us and and the foreigner price for example she was telling me she's paying two million two million roughly like hundred eighty dollars Canadian for a uh, you know for her room with the kitchen and everything else so hundred eighty dollars is very very good price for a whole month so which means like six dollars a day but I said that doesn't exist for us she said yeah yeah that's not for you guys but that's a local price so you see the average income doesn't support this kind of lifestyle that foreigners for example can come and sit in this cafe uh, for example the other day I went on a date and I bought two coffee and actually four coffee and the four coffee it was cost me roughly over $20 Canadian for, for four coffees guys in Bali so uh, for local people cannot afford to pay $20 for 
for four coffees, guy. That that's impossible. So the reason I'm talking about all these things, this extra vibe and because as you see, it's just like construction. You see, guys, like everywhere is a construction. But the things that you see here is beautiful. Even guys, like I went to buy some clothes, like short and t-shirt and whatever. So for example, the shirt that I bought, for example, in Thailand for $20, here costing me 60 bucks. So it is expensive guys, expensive. Okay guys, so we're going to have a fresh coconut. I have a spot that I, always I go there and I'll have a fresh coconut there and then we're going to carry on. But Bali is not designed for walking, pretty much you need to have a bike guys. But I cannot drive bike here, I can't. I was afraid to drive bike in Kusamui that roads are very wide and everything. Imagine here, here is just crazy guys, crazy. Driving bike here is not easy. Everywhere is a bike because it's just so crowded. Now it's 11 o'clock. Look at the road, guys. Everywhere. And the other thing is some of the tourists are very aggressive. They think they are Superman or Superwoman. So they're driving like crazy. So the fresh coffee and croissant is 50k so 50k in Canadian means four dollars and fifty cents you see guys maybe four dollars and fifty cents if you're watching this video from anywhere in Europe or or North America you're going to say okay 450 for coffee and croissant is not too much money but for for Southeast Asia standards is too much so this road is going to take me to all the way to the to the beach but because I know all these roads so I know where I'm going but if you don't know you can get lost here yeah, you see guys it's just like there is I, I said that already but just I want to explain again like there is a lot of good looking guys and girls here seriously it's just like most of them really buff seems to me spending a lot of time in the gym and everything else and they have a good life but my question is like where the income coming from because living in Bali is not cheap really not cheap oh man I'm looking for one of these shorts let me see Hello. Yes, hello please. How are you ma'am? I'm good, and you? I'm good, thank you. Yes, thank you. Hey, just give me a few minutes, let me take a look at everything you have. Huh? Thank you. So all from Bali, Indonesia? Yes, I'm All locals? Local brand. Okay. And is it this is the price is a fixed price or there's any discount? Uh, if you buy more than one, like a three piece, you can get it ten percent off. If I buy three pieces, yes, oh, okay, okay. okay. It is really nice. I want to buy one of these shorts. We have a small, medium, large, extra large. Extra large. And then that's all the colors. The oh, this is yes. just all the yes. colors that you have. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the extra large, stand, large, and medium okay yes. all right so probably i'm medium yes, it is really nice but i have to come back and try yes please we open that until nine in the night nine every day yes nine and for start from nine too it starts from nine and close also nine nine okay yes. Okay, thank you. Definitely I'll come back yes. because I want to try. Yes, please. That is nice. I like it. I like this one too. Okay, thank yes. you. I'll be back probably tonight. Yes. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. You see guys, those shorts, 
it was 600 650 IDR which means roughly $60 Canadian I don't know give and take $60 Canadian but I bought these shorts guys it's just the same quality seriously in Thailand for 20 bucks uh, even the one that I'm wearing right now from Thailand oops, even even better quality than this one but you see $60 versus $20 but anyway guys look like, if you see all these guys renting bikes and obviously cost of living cost of their place but most of them are staying in the hostel so they don't have like their private room so that's another thing but still like to support this kind of lifestyle here guys like going to the beach club and you know having three meals every day breakfast lunch and dinner you know like all these things probably if you're very 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 uh, uh, what is that if you're really reasonable with your budget probably cost you a hundred dollars Canadian per day you know with the renting the bike and and that's a minimum minimum I'm saying hundred dollars so hundred dollars times 30 means three thousand dollars Canadian I don't know man either they have but most of them outside most of them just at the beach surfing cruising with the bike so what kind of job is that I don't get it man ah, but I'm sure a lot of them you know either their parents help them out or using their credit card because there's no other ways here is not like Thailand or Vietnam because in Thailand and Vietnam you can stay in your budget but here guys expensive really like I'm very conservative and I don't do nightlife and anything like that my minimum including my hotel is just roughly hundred dollars a day Canadian and that's too much okay oh my coconut guy is not here holy shit maybe it's too early okay let's carry on who cares there's a lot of nice clothes here but price is high man I was looking at this shirt the other day and I was about to buy it because I really liked it and it was like $95 Canadian I don't know man hey, you see most of these restaurants are hip they're just full of tourists so as I said you know they're living their life either they come for one week or two weeks or I don't know but if those ones that are living here permanently and if they have this kind of lifestyle so obviously that costs a lot of money compare something between here and Thailand one good thing about here there is a lot of gas house what is the gas house the place that I'm staying brand new clean there is a kitchen to share and only four or five rooms and some of them 10 rooms some of them a little bit more this is lacking in Kusamu for example in Kusamu you have to stay in big hotels and I hope these concepts move to Kusamu because that would be lovely you know so another thing that I want to compare here to Thailand obviously the amount of tourists that in Thailand is maybe 10 times more than here in Indonesia or anywhere in, in Southeast Asia but seems to me there is one thing that get these guys figure it out there is a lot of nice places like a lot of beach clubs a lot of nice cafe nice restaurants although I saw a lot of nice places last time when I was in Kusamui and a lot of them it was coming up but one thing that in Kusamu is lacking brand new nice affordable gas house or hotels because most of the hotels in Kusamu either old and after uh, COVID it didn't get any renovation 
and some of them in really bad condition but here is just much much more options look at this cafe guys it's just full this is the typical days in Wally look it's completely booked and people waiting online for what God knows holy macaroni uh, this is typically this is happens here so I don't know why everybody goes to one place only it's just like one of those now look God knows what it is maybe I don't know serving breakfast or brunch but it's just packed so I don't know what these guys are serving that is so famous that everybody wants to go there probably I have to try once if I stay in Shenggu but I'm tired of Shenggu maybe I'm gonna move somewhere a little bit quiet but let's see Now some of these places are packed guys Hello Yeah guys, like as I said, you know, there is like Sometimes you come across this kind of restaurant and cafe And you see like a lot of people online But I don't know, it's just a wipe, trust me, it is just a wipe I don't know it just it was a brunch place like what kind of eggs maybe they put some sort of gold on their eggs it's just the eggs you know like some of the restaurants here are completely empty and some of them like full like this I totally understand some restaurants they have a better service and better food but it's just sometimes it's just the vibe and the vibe here in Bali is just like crazy now and another thing is just just my personal things maybe because of my age maybe I'm not 30 years old maybe I'm not 25 years old for example the amount of, like sometimes I get really bored in Bali although there is a lot of things to do in Bali lots compared to Koh Samui maybe million things you can do here much much more than Koh Samui but to be honest with you like I was always busy and doing something in Kusamu like I had a plan every day although there's not much to do in Kusamu but I was oh this guy is just playing music in the morning that's nice so I was doing something I don't know somehow I was like busy but now I have a lot of free time although I can do a lot of things here but it's just I don't want to go to these night places because First of all, it's very expensive. And second of all, it's extremely crowded. Again, maybe it's just not me anymore. It's just when you get older, you don't want to go to these noisy places and, you know, crowded. I like a little bit more quiet place. So, again, that's my personal opinion that I was doing more you know more activities in a small island like Kusamui than here but again I hope the same concept you see guys there's a lot of this kind of uh, gas house maybe I'm gonna move to here oh man I saw this yeah this is a very good location maybe I can move here for next few days Because I have, no, after a few days, I have nine more days left. Oh, well, that's not bad. So maybe I'll move here. And it is very close to the beach. Yeah, what I was saying is just, I don't know, like I was really enjoying my time in Kusamui all day. But here, sometimes I get bored. And that's the age thing, exactly. For some of these young people, it's just going crazy. And another thing is because I'm traveling for a long time. There's a girl next to me, staying next to me, and she's from Germany. And she's working online, and she takes two weeks off. Now she's here. I 
this is another really busy restaurant that I don't know always is packed so uh, yeah there's a German girl that is staying next to me and she said to me uh, she leaves Germany every six months or whatever so she comes to Bali and like she's very excited because she's just spending here for two weeks so every morning like she leaves seven o'clock and then she comes back at I don't know you see guys this kind of gas houses that I'm talking about I hope you guys can see it you see it is, it is a beautiful gas house like three floors and there is a rice field front of you so there is a lot of this kind of options here I hope same concept goes to Kusamui too because in Thailand this type of stuff is missing So another thing is that I was saying, yeah, what I was saying, yeah, she's she's from Germany and she lives in the morning. She goes surfing and then I don't know where she goes. And then she comes back like eight, nine o'clock and then sleeps and then next day again, seven o'clock. But that's normal. But when you're traveling for a long time, you know, sometimes you lose that motivation. Everywhere is a villa, 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 gas house. That's really good because you have a lot of options here. Uh, first of all, a lot of options. Second of all, um, uh, the price is much, much reasonable. Oh, one thing that I got to tell you guys. So if you stay in this kind of gas houses that I'm staying, price is just much, much lower than Thailand. So not much, much, but much, much lower than Thailand. No, I would say like 25%, uh, not much, much. So I would say 25%, even the hotel is cheaper than Thailand. That's the only things. Uh, but food, I believe, and any type of activity here costing you a lot of money. I don't know, to me, like if you come in for two weeks vacation or one week, probably is free everything here. but I'm comparing with other Southeast Asia uh, not based on one week vacation I'm like comparing in general cost of food and everything else but I gotta tell you guys something. If you're coming to Bali for the first time or second time or whatever, for one week, two weeks vacation, the best place, that's my opinion, to stay is Shenggu. Because in Shenggu you have everything, pretty much. You can have an access to the nightlife, beach club, the beach, nice cafe, nice restaurant, nice supermarket, nice boutiques. Okay like you have an access to everything and another thing is here is more high-end what i mean by that if you stay in kuta or Siminyak, you don't know like you cannot walk on the street somebody wants to sell you something especially this go bike driver because every second the beep 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 even the taxi it's just like you cannot walk more than two, three minutes. Like people just really, really approach you wrong way to sell you something. But in Shenggui, it doesn't happen. Really. Here it's just really, really next level. And why I'm saying stay in Shenggui because let's see if anyone, if you are not the really night, nightlife person, not into bar and club and stuff like that. But you have that option because sometimes if you stay in really quiet place, maybe you get bored after a while. You know, like maybe you want to go now at night, you know, to have one or two beers. But in some of the quiet place, you don't have that option. But here you have everything, to be honest with you. So now even because my booking is up to April 13 in my guest house and I have to leave for next nine days. Obviously after that, I have to I'm, I'm flying to Bangkok so 
I'm just looking at different places, but because I've been to so many places here in Bali, I know like I'm gonna get bored somehow. Uh, so I wanna stay here, although I, I haven't been to anywhere like, at night, but I like to have that option. You know, I like to have this option to come outside and see all these cafe, restaurant, massage places. If you wanna shop something, you know, but you have all these options here. But unfortunately, you won't have these options everywhere. So this is another, my favorite place for pizza. Tonight, I'm gonna have a pizza too again. Fabrica. So you see some of the cafe just has a really busy wipe. Some of them completely full, some of them is completely empty. See guys, there's a lot of nice boutiques here. Really nice boutiques. all the fake bags here fake bags fake hats everything another cafe that is always packed so i don't know why now some of this cafe is always packed It is a hot day, but it's not sunny, so that's why a lot of people are out. Because usually, 11 o'clock, you won't see this much people. But let me take you guys to the beach, and then we're going to come back. And another thing is, there is a lot of young people in Shenggu uh, for surfing. Because this guy is not really professional, they're trying to learn. And here is the best place for them to learn. Because Uluwatu, I heard, is more professional. So it seems to me all these guys, they're trying to learn surfing. So that's why here, and you can see there's a lot of them here. And we're gonna arrive very soon, guys, to the beach. And there's an empty land next to me. And if you have a lot of money, you can build a nice, house, nice hotel here next to the beach. Ah, oh, man. Hello. Hello. So here, here you go, guys. Beach. This is a surf lesson here, pretty much everywhere. Oh, sorry guys. But guys, because I have a sneakers on me, so I don't want, I cannot walk to the beach. So I'm gonna take you guys from this side. Now usually at night you cannot bike your, you cannot park your bicycle here because, because of all these beach clubs here. So people come in to see the sunset. So one of the most famous things here is just people to see the sunset and sun, sunrise. I never been for a sunrise here, but I, I think I, I should try once. I have to get up early in the morning and walk to the beach and take a look at the sunrise. Uh, or maybe when I'm going to Senur, because I'm thinking to move to Senur, 
just I want to see the different part of Bali too because I've been to Uluwatu I've been to I stayed in Ubu pretty much everywhere in U in Bali not everywhere I mean those central ones not the north part but I heard Senur is very peaceful so it's very quiet and I'm planning for my last nine days to go there and probably I'm gonna get the hotel that is really close to the beach so maybe I can go and see the sunrise yeah this is you can see people just coming chilling there's a lot of these kind of restaurants and beach clubs here and usually at night it gets really busy And another thing is if you're walking at the beach or when you're walking on the street here you need to take a look at dog shit. Everywhere is a dog shit and nobody cleans after themselves. That's ridiculous. That's really ridiculous because you see dog shit everywhere. Everywhere. At the beach, on the street, it's just you name it. It is hot and humid, but uh, it is not sunny, obviously. But it's good. I don't mind. I'm sure you guys know me. Heat doesn't bother me. see guys there's a lot of restaurants by the beach so at night all these places are full so now it's 11 o'clock Guess what? Everywhere is a construction and even more construction is coming up. I don't know. So... But having said that, I saw a lot of condominiums that is like left, after, I, believe, I believe like one or two years ago. They didn't continue and it's just half done. And I saw a few of them. A big project. I don't mean like, usually it's like three four floor but I would say at least like 80 units or 60 units uh, project but it just left empty and seems to me they cannot finish the project but in the other hand like every corner of Bali you see guys it's just another new restaurant you see there's just something else coming up here and they're coming up with the new things, you know, go up those, what is this? Like, we can do something with those, I don't know, some sort of activity that I don't know. But you can see these kind of constructions everywhere. So I don't know, man. I need to research. See why is everywhere is under construction here. I hope same thing happened in Kusamui because Kusamui needs new development, new gas house, you know, more affordable, not only big hotels, you know, something like gas house, the same concept here. You have a swimming pool, you have everything. This is another very famous nightlife place and the Mexican restaurant, but usually it's empty. I swear, every time that I'm passing by, it is empty. So, I don't know.
So there's a lot of restaurants here at the beach too, so you can see, you can see it, have a beer, have a drink, have a dinner and see the sunset. Right here. Hello. Hello sir. How you doing? I'm good. How about you? I'm good, thanks. It just looks like the, like this. Usually it gets really busy at night. It's perfect day for people that want to surf. There's a lot of weight. This guy always with the four dogs. Oh. What's happening? Dogs are getting crazy. Holy shit, it was a dog fight. <laughs> Hey uh, guys, this is another bar at night again. It gets really crowded and busy. Called Old Man. I never been here, but it seems to me it just gets busy. Wow. What the fuck is happening with these dogs? Dogs are getting crazy. Seriously, dogs, guys, getting crazy when they saw those four big guys, dogs. Now there's million of them, sparking like no tomorrow. It's crazy, man. Anyway, there's not much to do in beach because probably it's going to rain very soon. I had a big breakfast, but. Later on, I'm going to take you guys to my uh, Warung, one of these restaurants that you can pick and choose. You know, there's a lot of things like meat and 
and vegetables. Uh, I guess they call that Kansap Kampur, if I'm not, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. So you go there, you choose the rice. Usually there's three base. One is uh, white rice, the other one yellow and red. Holy shit. So then, you know, you have an option of meat and chicken and the vegetables. And the price is very reasonable. Usually I pick like three, four different vegetables and one or two type of meat. And it just cost me roughly like 40 IDR. Roughly $3.50. So. If you find these kind of restaurants that, you know, make sure it's clean, uh, cost of this restaurant is very low, but you know, go to, you know, proper restaurant, you no, know, it's high, as I said, you know, good pizza with the drink costs you roughly 20 bucks Canadian. Another thing is that you need to be careful guys when you are here. Find the right place for the exchange because some of them, their rate on the street is just like a mafia. All of them same. For example, this one is 15,275 for USD. Trust me, that's very low, very low. So, hey, how you doing? So, I can go to the place that usually I change, probably I can get 15,800. And another thing is that you need to be careful when you're exchanging. Never happened to me, but I heard from a million people. So make sure take your camera, I mean your phone, and when you're going to the exchange places here, especially those one, a small one, or regardless, any of them, just make sure put your video on when you hand them, them your money and when they count him back when they give you your money exchange back make sure use your video and your te telephone to count every single of them because some of them professional for example you give them hundred dollars usd so you expect him to get fifteen thousand for example idr Sometimes they are so professional. You think you got 15, but they hand you 13. So meanwhile, like they take one or 200 off. So I heard that from a lot of people, a lot of people. So first of all, once you get the money from them, count it front of them. Make sure front of them before you leave the store. And second of all, make sure you use your phone, camera. Because here I heard from a lot of people. They went to get the exchange, for example, they hand them $100 USD, instead of $1,500, they got $1,300. And then because they went outside, this, these people they didn't accept it. So, oh, you bullshitting me, you know, you went outside and you put it in your pocket. So make sure you use your phone. And number two, uh, count the money in front of them before you leave in the store. Another busy, crazy cafe, guys. It's just a lot of people here for croissant. I had it, it's just nothing so special about it, but look at the lineup. It is so crazy, busy all the time. I don't know why. It's just a normal croissant. There's nothing, you know, like different type of croissant, a little bit bigger. But it's just nothing special about it, but it's just full pack. I don't get it, man. And another thing is that you guys 
should know about Bali if you haven't been here alcohol here is not cheap first of all they have a lot of fake alcohol they just license first of all the wine local wine is really bad I had it the other day and I got so much headache on the other hand uh, seems to me they have a lot of fake alcohol here manufactured here in Indonesia a little bit cheaper but again I heard a lot of people that they told me you know you just sometimes you get a lot of headache because it's not a standard process so anyway and they have only two type of local beer as far as I know and bean tang and there is another one I don't remember so the best one is bean tang and again bean tang even gives me a headache so there's not much options and the other thing is original alcohol here is a little bit expensive not a little bit is more so and the wine prices is crazy man the same wine that I used to pay like 25 30 dollars Canadian in Canada now here is like 60 70 dollars and you don't have much options there's really only few and one thing that I gotta say really Bali is invade invasion under invasion with Russia too seriously it's just same thing in Thailand but my question is where the money coming from I'm really confused because some of these guys are extremely young I don't know 20 25 30 for example the couple next to me both of them from Russia and the guy doesn't do nothing and she sometimes works online both of them extremely angry people extremely angry even I heard because I left this this gas house for a few days I went to Ubud and then I came back and my next neighbor very nice guys from uh, Netherlands and they told me these guys made, had a big fight with the people that it was staying in my room from Australia. So these two couple, like Russian couple, always angry. I don't know. Like I never even saw them to have a conversation between themselves decent way. I don't understand Russian, but it just seems to me they are always fighting. And they never, you know, say hi, no, nope, nothing. Because most of the people in the gas house are very friendly. But these guys know they don't talk to nobody. Sometimes they tell me hello, that's it. But overall very really angry people. And both of them they don't do nothing. And I heard they are in this gas house for past three months. So the same thing, it's just like Thailand and here under invasion by Russians. And they have a bike, you know, they don't do nothing. And when they're cooking in the kitchen, she makes everywhere oily. It's just like frying stuff and the oil is all over the place. I don't know, she's very dirty. And obviously only one fridge for four people. So usually because I'm staying there for a long time, and sometimes I cook, but this guy's taking two shelves and both of them so messed up, you know, like they're cutting stuff and they put half of it in the fridge and goes bad. I don't understand it. Like, see guys, even now more traffic. amount of bike guys I don't know about you but I cannot drive no 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 I really cannot drive here it's just crazy Guys, it is raining again and I'm going to the city. 
I know it is crazy that way.
Hello again guys Well it was rainy as you guys saw on earlier today so I was just chilling in my room so now the rain is a stop but seems to me it's going to rain again so I thought to just come outside and just go for a walk and have an ice cream and show you guys the beach because usually beach is really beautiful at night so I'm just gonna walk to the beach and show you guys around here oh man there's a lot of beautiful girls here man it's just unbelievable now usually because of obviously the heat and everything else usually in the evening it just gets much much more crowded a lot of people coming out and obviously it is Shengu there's a lot of traffic here guys but usually this is what I do every day so I walk to the beach I'll go there and then just sit there for a few hours to see the sunset but unfortunately today is no sunset and I'm sure it's going to rain again but who cares and you see guys you see the traffic here it is Shengu so guys if you like pizza one of the really famous places party place but if you want a quiet time you know just to enjoy your pizza just go around six seven guys this is the cafe that I said they have a croissant and it's just always full seriously I don't understand the hype I don't get it people taking pictures and it's just like it is so crazy And I don't get it. I, I don't understand the height. It's just a croissant and the coffee. <laughs> but it seems to me it's just like something that I don't get it. Very busy too. Usually this is a war room. This is the same concept that I said to you guys. Like you can pick and choose called war room. Like you can. There is some sort of meat there and a lot of vegetables and the rice and stuff like that. So there's few of them here, close to my hotel, my guest house, and this place is very busy too. But as you can see, like in the evening, it just gets really busy everywhere. The beach is really busy today.
<laughs> yeah, pretty much a lot of people coming at night here in Bali, it's just like at the beach and walking around. As I said, there's few restaurants up there, you can sit there and chill. But mostly a lot of people coming here just to walk and see the sunset. And I have a favorite spot that I'm going to take you guys now there. Usually I sit there between like 5 p.m. to 6.30. Because as I said, like for past 10, 15 days, I wasn't doing much, guys. I was just relaxing and I was dealing with few problems. Doing nothing, pretty much. And usually I come to the beach in the evening, like around 5 o'clock. It is hot. Like even 5, 5.30 is really hot here. So usually like people come in exactly at the time of sunset. But uh, I, I, I'm sure you guys know that I don't mind the heat. So I was going, I'm going to take you guys to the spot that usually I go there. And you guys saw this uh, bars and the beach clubs that earlier today I was showing you guys. So a lot of people sitting there and drinking. But... Uh, what happened was like maybe but I, I, like in Bali there is different part of Bali that a lot of people for example when they come in here for two weeks or three weeks usually moving from one location to another location for example they stay in, like three four days here and then move to Senur for three four days and then Uluwatu, Jimbaran there's different places so I don't see much of tourists right now in Shenggu mostly either people that live in here or the local people because i'm sure you guys know that there's a lot of foreigners living here lots uh, a lot of them working here a lot of them working lo uh, long distance online and mostly like a lot of russians too obviously because of the war and everything else that's going on so those guys moved here but overall, you know, like sometimes a uh, few weeks ago when I was in Ubud, again, a lot of tourists there, but not like before. So God knows when here is quiet in Shenggu, maybe people move into Ubud or from Ubud going somewhere else. Because in my guest house, a lot of people come in only for two, three days. And then after two, three days, you see them, they are gone. I'm sure they're going to different part of Bali you know because I don't know I, I never talked to them I don't know what is the situation but I'm sure a lot of people come in here for two three weeks so for that reason they want to see everywhere in Ubud I'm sorry in Bali so and the beach is uh, kind of crowded it's not really busy but it's okay A lot of people coming to take pictures and you know just relaxing and swimming and so on and so forth. go to my favorite spot and just sit there and relax for a few minutes so guys I don't know again what I'm gonna do because I spent enough time in Shenggu so I was thinking my next nine days actually from 13 because I'm here uh, until I'm in Shenggu until 13 of April today is 10 so three more days and then I was thinking to go somewhere else because I spent a lot of time here. I spent a lot of time in Ubud. So I don't know, should I go to Senur or Jimbaran or Uluwatu? I, I don't know, to be honest with you guys. Uh, I'm going to find a way. Or maybe I'm going to stay in Shenggu again. But so far since I came to Bali, I'm in Shenggu. 
I spent a few days in Seminyak and then moved to Ubud and then back here. Or maybe I'm going to go back to Ubud again. <laughs> That's not the bad idea because when I was in Ubud, it was raining every day. But the rain stopped somehow. One thing that is good in Bali, if you're an outgoing person, you can find a community that you can, you know, chill with them. Again, you have to find it, you know, like if you are in the, you know, some sort of sporting activity or dancing or whatever. There's a lot of different groups here, but it's just like you have to get involved and then to find them. So when I was in Ubud, it was a girl that was staying next to me. She was from Florida and she was into some sort of dancing and stuff like that. She was keep going to this event every day. And she was, she was very, very enjoying those kind of events. And then she was telling me that she won't go anywhere else except uh, Ubud. So she wants to stay there. But again, it just depends. Depends on what you want to do, and depends of you know your own personality too. Like if you are outgoing, if you are you know can find this kind of group, you know to get involved with them and you know whatever that they do, dancing or any kind of beach volleyball or whatever. But unfortunately, I couldn't find any any type of this because I'm not really going out. So usually you have to go and. You know chill with these kind of groups you know in the cafe or wherever so to get to know them but unfortunately I wasn't because I was just most of the time it was I was in my room and just coming out at the evening at the beach and go for a walk and then again go back to my room I don't know sometimes like really I get you know like tired of thinking and that's the worst things that you can do to yourself, just overthinking. And that's happened to me guys for the past two, three weeks. I'm just overthinking of everything. Yeah, so very close to my, my spot that I usually go in there and sit and then relax. So this is my spot guys, usually I come here and I sit here and watch the sunset but unfortunately today because of the rain nobody here, uh, everywhere is kind of wet. So there's a lot of surfer here guys but I heard I don't know I heard from a lot of people here that people that stay in Shangu they're not really dark like beginner they're trying to learn and I can see that because 
I don't know if you guys can see it or not, mostly like beginner or you know just uh, trying to learn but seems to me a lot of professional one going to Uluwatu that's the most famous part for the surfer that professional surfer uh, yeah pretty much a lot of people coming I didn't take any course because it's just like I don't know I don't have any passion for it although I'm a swimmer I hope you guys saw some of my videos. I'm swimming for past 35 years, but I don't know. I don't have no 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 interest on in surfing. I don't know. Like to me, just maybe maybe you have to try one or two times to fall in love with something. Like in the beginning, maybe you can judge. Oh well, I don't like it, or so on and so forth. Maybe because I didn't try, but if I try, because. Anything that I do in the water is just enjoyable for me because I'm a swimmer, so I love it. I love water, I love oceans. Like anything that related to water, it just makes me really calm and happy. Uh, but the problem is, I never tried. Maybe I have to try one or two times. Maybe I'll fall in love. But it seems to me there's a lot of work. But most of them, they're not swimmer because I see that when the trainer trying to teach them, one of the things that they need to deal obviously to swim a little bit because they have to go a little bit further and catch the wave and whatever so i saw most of them that they, most of the people that are trying to learn they don't know how to swim but because i'm a swimmer maybe it's going to help me a lot to learn faster maybe i'll try one or two days let's see I don't know man sometimes like in life I don't know if it happens to you guys or not it's just like I don't know like maybe because of the age maybe it's like I'm overthinking about everything sometimes like you don't want to do anything you are afraid of doing stuff you know and that's the worst things that you can do to yourself like you need to take chance Because obviously I'm very shy guy in general you know like generally I'm very shy and very you know conservative guy so but in life you need to take risk really because I, I ne always I was taking in business aspect calculated risk but I'm not the big risk taker the only time that I took risk and I'm really happy with that then like roughly three years ago I took that chance to leave Canada and try to travel and find myself and find the happiness that's one of the best things I'm not saying it's very smooth because obviously you're not working in the financial problems and so on and so forth but I believe that's one of the best decisions that I made you know and in life you need to take risk you know for example there's a lot of single beautiful ladies here but i'm not one of those guys that i can approach people like approach ladies on the street i know there's a lot of people very easy for them to go and approach them and that's good you know like end of the day what's gonna happen she's gonna say no you know i'm not gonna give you my phone number that's all it's gonna happen you know like nothing else but you know for a lot of guys including myself that's a difficult you know like because you don't want a rejection that's the biggest problem you know people they don't want to get rejected and if you don't get rejected in life you're not gonna grow in your life you know like most of the billionaires they got fired fired a few times I don't know I know few life few billionaires life that they couldn't keep their job there was they were get keep getting fired now they are billionaires so in life you have to take risks to be honest with you like approaching girls is not not supposed to be a big deal you know end of the day what's gonna happen if you are a gentleman and if you are approaching them right way end of the day they're gonna say oh i don't like you you know like not, they're not gonna say even i don't like you they're gonna say no i'm not gonna give you phone number that's it there's nothing else but guys lately i'm seeing a lot of a lot of crazy idiots called youtuber uh, doing a lot of crazy nasty stuff in thailand 
I don't know, man. These these guys are not YouTubers because most of them they have another website that selling videos that made with the prostitution, prostitute ladies in Thailand. So I saw two of them that seems to me I don't know. I don't want to say because I don't want enemies. But these two guys, like if you go to their YouTube, they have another channel, not the YouTube, they have something I don't know, private kind of website or whatever, social media that they can upload all the sex video that they have, you know, and sometimes I check it out, these guys, like what they do, and then I click on that website, and I saw like there is an option, you know, like, you can pay them monthly, yearly, or whatever, daily fees, and these guys, uh, they share their sex video that may be on Thailand. But my question is, if these girls that on YouTube and having sex with these YouTubers and these guys selling it, are they know about this? This is supposed to be illegal. Uh, but seems to me it's just like they have a website and advertising, you know, like if you pay them daily or monthly or whatever, you have access to all these videos. And I see some other ones that it's just like really what they're doing is completely wrong. I totally understand. They get a lot of views. They get a lot of views. And I know that. Every time that I had a nightlife in Thailand, I had more views. I don't know there is something because maybe because Thailand is just like everybody knows is uh, you know place for party and, and sex tourism and everything else maybe a lot of people watching this video because they like it they like to see the nightlife they like to see the beat uh, what is that um, the, the uh, nightlife and the massage places and so on and so forth and even in my case, every time that I upload that, I never upload anything like that, crazy things. I just went to the few night spot and then I upload that on YouTube. So I can see that. I get more views. So it seems to me this guy is just taking advantage. But so I think YouTube needs to do something about that. Because first of all, some of them is really disrespectful. Disrespectful to these girls. Uh, because... Okay, these kids are bar girls or massage girls, but you don't know their background. You don't know what they're going through. Maybe they have a kids, maybe they have a family, and most of them like that, as far as I know, in Thailand. So they need money. That's why they are doing this stuff. So, and these guys, you know, taking advantage of that. And that's really crazy, because I saw another YouTuber popped up in Pattaya, he's just making fun of people in Thailand, he's making fun of these girls, he's not paying for a taxi, and a bunch of crazy stuff, and he's just repeating something over and over and over. Sometimes when I see this, it makes me sometimes discouraged to do any other YouTube, because first of all, I see, okay, well, I'm not the guy that I'm going to go to to one of these crazy walk street or soy soy six or whatever that they call you know all the bars and then nightlife and make fun of these girls and you know take them home or whatever so that's not my personality and so when you don't do this kind of stuff obviously you don't get the views as a new youtuber and this guy's doing it because all of a sudden i see this guy which I really hate his attitude and he's just like really is taking advantage of people on YouTube and like every day he's just gaining more subscriber, more subscriber, more subscriber on a daily basis so I don't know man, that's a little bit discouraging to me Okay guys, you saw the beach, 
Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to head back. Uh, so hopefully I can have this video soon because I know some of you guys just following up with me and thank you so much. Uh, that's why I'm not uploading any more videos. So this is going to come up very soon. Another thing is that you guys need to know uh, there's a lot of lady boys here too. Lots. I saw just two of them right now. Now uh, guys, let me go back. I don't know what happened to me. Like I want to just go back and just sit and relax. What do you think guys? I'm getting old or what? Shengu, it was few years ago, it was like green everywhere, but now everywhere is the construction, guys. Like you see that everywhere, it's just like non stop of constructions. So, probably this piece of land after a few years, or maybe less than even one year, something is gonna come up here. But that's really ridiculous because like everywhere now under construction so all this rice field and all the green spaces is gone so probably this place is gonna be some sort of I don't know hotel or business or something like that too very soon but I really like Bali at night like it just everywhere gets really busy and really nice let's see what these people selling here oh nice shirt there's another restaurant here restaurant here too Guys, I never walked this way, so I want to just go and see where I'm going to end up. Oh, there's a lot of nice clothing here. Well, let me take a look at it. Yeah, I went inside and the price it was like crazy guys like and then the brand is from Australia It is not local brand. Oh Wow, look at this. It's a nice villa Oh, I'm glad that I walked this way oh.
Guys, this is what I'm talking about. Like, there is a lot of nice stores here. Lots. Like, look at this one. It's just like everything is very unique and nice. But most of them is empty. There is absolutely no customers. So my question is like, how they surviving, you know, to pay the rent? For example, another restaurant here. And most of the restaurant that I passed by, guys, it was empty. Or maybe one or two customers. Because absolutely, I believe here is overbuilt. Overbuilt. It's just like you cannot have this much of restaurant and cafe and gas house and everything else because it's just too much look guys another restaurant is just two floor i'm sure there's a huge amount of rent but it's empty oh this is a gym god the gym is busy fitness plus oh here is busy Look guys, again, stores, stores, stores under, for example, this one is empty, empty, empty. There is under constructions. This is out of control. Ball is absolutely out of control. I don't get this. But look, for rent, it's empty. As someone that it was in real estate business for 27 years, there is something really wrong here. Oh, there's a little rice field here. Middle of nowhere. Look at this spa, how beautiful it is, but no customers. I don't know, man. If there is something that doesn't make sense to me. You cannot build all these things without customers. You know? Guys, just take a look at this. It's really nice. It's a local brand. Everything is so unique here. Thank you so much. You. Everything is so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. It it is so nice everything but a little pricey guys i don't know man to me a little bit pricey you know like the shirt that i was watched looking and it was nice it's roughly like 150 dollars canadian i got somewhere that i have no idea where i am but let's see How much nice boutiques and everything here. The event going on there, like people doing something. You see, you need to be involved with this type of group to go to different events. But obviously you can book all these events online too. Look at all these boutiques here guys, it's just like really lovely. But as I said, living in Bali is not easy. Like if you want to move here permanently, or here is not cheap. But obviously, you can find a lot of nice stuff here. It is not like Thailand pretty much, be honest with you. Like a, a, a little bit nicer stuff here, but obviously nice stuff costs money. So nothing is free. You see guys, there's a lot of cafe and everything. I don't know, it's just, to me, a little bit confusing because when there's so much things and there's no customer, like I don't get it. This is another boutique that I went there and it was nice. Oh, this is close to my area. One thing that I can see, there's a lot of different brands here clothing brand so if you're a designer probably you know this is a very good opportunity for you to make good money here because i believe making this uh, 
shirt and stuff like that cost them nothing, but it's just selling it for really high price.